Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and today we are going to look at the IGN coverage of day two for the Venom movie. And uh, they've been rolling this stuff out all week, and I appreciate you guys again being patient with me. I decided last night that I would go out and actually do something in the real world after I got off work, and, uh, and it was stuff I needed to do uh, that pertains to my new apartment and everything, so I got a lot of it done last night, so that way I could kind of sleep in today, kind of you know rest and rejuvenate myself, and then just wake up and start making videos. But of course, I went to the comic store first, picked up some comics, and we'll talk about those in future episodes very, very soon. Uh, but today, I want to talk about yesterday's news from IGN, and then we'll also cover today's news as well, and I'll try to get all these filmed for you guys and up as soon as possible. Uh, and yesterday, what IGN talked about was how Tom Hardy is bringing Venom to life, and this is part of the IGN premiere first look from Terry Schwartz over at IGN, so big shout out to her. I'm going to put a link to this article down below. Make sure you check it out. She was able to visit the set, so it looks like my theory in the first episode, which I put on screen in text uh, because I forgot to mention it when I was talking because uh, I ramble sometimes and forget, and uh, in that I mentioned that uh, it looked like she was there during the filming in San Francisco, but they fed her footage from stuff they shot in Atlanta uh, to kind of help fill out, you know, like the, the video that she was cutting together and making. And it looks like that was the case because in here she starts off by saying she's at the San Francisco set and during the last week of filming. So this would have been in January going into early February of this year of 2018. So the footage that she has here, once again, she's talking to Paul Franklin, uh, you know, who's the visual effects supervisor of Venom. And then also, I think, uh, Oliver Skull. She's kind of talking to these two gentlemen again. Uh, but mostly in this one, it's Paul Franklin. And, uh, and uh, Paul is uh, kind of describing to her how they got Venom done, like how they completed the look of Venom uh, on set because they didn't do motion capture, they didn't do anything like that, and the reason being is because, uh, you know, the, the faces just look too different. Normally when you do motion capture, it's to make the, you know, the CG version of the character look very close uh, to the, you know, human character, the actual actor that's playing the role, and, uh, you know, Venom and Eddie Brock, they just look too different. There's not going to be the same facial tics, there's not going to be the same cheekbones, uh, you know, eye, you know, the eyes are obviously way different, uh, and so uh, for that reason, they didn't do motion capture. They decided to do other methods, and they talk about that in this. So if you don't want any minor spoilers, I wouldn't call anything that happened in this video spoilers, but on today's video, uh, which we'll talk about in the you know, upcoming episode, uh, where they talk about how the Clintars get to Earth, that does have some movie spoilers. So in that video, I'll do a spoiler warning at the beginning in case you want to go into the movie fresh. Uh, but for this, I don't think there's a ton of spoilers in it, so I'll put a link down below. I won't give you a spoiler warning because, in my opinion, nothing here really ruins the movie. Uh, it's more or less showing you some uh, kind of behind-the-scenes fight scenes. So you will see Riz Ahmed's character and Eddie Brock's you know, character, the two of them fighting uh, against the blue screen in the background. You'll see scenes where uh, Tom Hardy is like on a tree and it's like leaning towards the camera, and there, you know, there's a blue screen background. Uh, so they're kind of just doing things like that, and they also show the scene where he grabs Scott Hayes by the throat, which we saw some behind the scene uh, photos of way back when like in December when we started doing the show uh, and I think a lot of those photos were from Just Jared so shout out to Just Jared for capturing those images um, and in those we saw Tom Hardy on the street with his leg bent back and then he you know his leg snaps forward he heals he stands up he grabs Scott Hayes and he stands up and towers over him turns into Venom uh, but in the you know behind the scenes here they're going to show you how they did that and how they had platforms uh, kind of set up and how Tom Hardy stood on one and then you know Scott Hayes on the other one kind of crouching down and then as the camera moved in Tom was kind of raised up you know like a foot so that way he could match the height of Venom for the transformation and then they also talked about the fight scene inside the apartment where Eddie Brock is like taking everybody down you know and using all of his symbiote moves that he just developed and uh, and in that scene they said they had the one main camera and then they had people around Eddie Brock or, you know, Tom Hardy filming with what they called witness cameras. And some of these were like, one guy had just a phone. He was just holding a phone uh, recording, which I was like, hey, sweet, I record my show with a phone. That made me feel a little bit, you know, like I wasn't as low tech as I probably actually am on this show. Um, and uh, and then, you know, there was other guys around. One guy had what looked like even like a Nintendo DS, but he had like a little flip camera thing, you know. And I don't know these some of these types of cameras. I don't recognize them. So there was, but there was just like little small cameras that some of these people were holding to get different angles so when Eddie Brock went this way and his you know the symbiote went out and everything they only use that footage for reference so they knew in a 3d plane how the suit was going to react to people and I was like wow that's pretty neat I'm sure that's been done in movies before but this is the first time I've seen something like that happen and so I just found it very interesting and so this particular behind the scenes footage 
is really great. So if you want to learn more about how Tom Hardy kind of became Venom and not hearing it from Tom Hardy, but from the actual visual effects people that helped make it happen, uh, definitely check out this, this little article here from uh, Terry Schwartz and the video that goes along with it. And again, the link is down below. Um, but those are my, you know, those kind of my feelings on this is that it looked awesome. It was really cool. It was neat to see some of the behind the scenes stuff. And it was, even though you got a few things that might be from, you know, different parts of the movie that could be considered spoilers, to me, since it wasn't finished product, it wasn't like, you know, the final look of some of it, uh, none of it came across super spoiler to me. So I would say it's safe. If you want to go watch it yourself, the link is down below. And after you watch it, let me know what your thoughts are. If you've already seen it because it's been out for a day now, you probably already have. Let me know what your thoughts are down below as well. And make sure you refrain in upcoming videos from spoilers. And I know some of you guys are, you know, sending me direct messages on Twitter and stuff. Be careful because there are some things I don't want spoiled for me if I can help it. Uh, so far, no one's spoiled anything major, so it's, you know, it's fine. Uh, but I would just say, you know, use your best judgment if you can uh, and try not to ruin the experience for some other people because I do have people that follow the show who are getting worried that they won't be able to watch certain episodes because, you know, it has spoilers in it. So I'll do my best to warn you guys uh, to the best of my ability before or at the front of a video uh, and let you know if we're going to talk about anything that I would think is spoiler heavy and what I would kind of deem as spoilers would be something that gives away a major plot point. Um, like the next video, the next IGN video we talk about will, I feel. Um, so make sure if you haven't watched that, maybe don't watch it because it does have spoilers. Uh, but when I make my video on it, I won't show any of the footage, but we will talk about it. So we're definitely going to talk about spoilers. Um, and so things like that, I would consider spoilers. But just like showing two people fight or something, you know, we all assumed people are going to fight in this movie. So that's not too much of a spoiler for me. Um, but again, I'll try to use, um, you know, a different type of discretion. Uh, and I'll try to keep you guys in mind and what you guys consider spoilers too. Uh, and anything that I think might be crossing a line, I'll try my best to give you a warning. So again, let me know what your thoughts are this down below in the comment section. And I will continue the conversation with you down there. Thanks for watching my show as always. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.